Ian Paisley didn't just call for defiance, he bellowed it. For decades, his catchphrase earned him the nickname Dr. No, but his was a career of conversion and in the process changed the course of Northern Ireland history. If you had told me some time ago that I would be standing here to take this office, I would have been totally unbelieving. His early career was one of confrontation. The man who once liked to throw snowballs at an Irish Prime Minister's car, who condemned and goaded the IRA. The IRA are murdering scum! And even the Pope, whom he heckled in the European Parliament. But in 2007, Paisley did the unthinkable, agreeing a deal with former IRA commander Martin McGuinness. Once sworn enemies, they would go on to have such good chemistry, they became known as the Chuckle Brothers. Today, McGuinness paid tribute in a way that not so long ago would have been unimaginable. Our relationship confounded everybody. People were surprised that coming from diametrically opposed backgrounds, that uh, someone from the pro-British unionist tradition and somebody from the pro-Irish uh, Republican tradition could actually have a decent working relationship, but just as importantly, uh, a real friendship grew out of that. So I, I believe I've lost a friend today. I believe that the peace process has lost a friend. Uh, and for me, it's a very sad day. So I have nothing to say to you. Just go home. <laughs> With the power to charm not just reporters but politicians too, he was a divisive figure, both admired and feared. But from always saying no and never to eventually saying yes, Ian Paisley changed his legacy from the protester to peacemaker. His former deputy Peter Robinson added today, even those who thought the least of his politics thought the most of him as a person.